decade later, three national titles later, the Miami Hurricanes rule their domain. 61 wins and 63 tries since that November night. No question, the Canes own the Orange Bowl. Can lightning strike twice? Will the Eagles spoil a Cane birth in the Orange Bowl? Maybe another memory tonight, Boston College and Miami. Well, you're looking at a live shot, and you hear the boos from the locals as the Eagles take the field. And, Ron, this is the first look they're going to have of the speed of Miami. It's the strength and power of Boston College versus the speed of Miami. Chipman, a couple of yards deep, he'll return it. Out to the 27-yard line. Now the starting lineups brought to you by Russell Athletic. The quarterback Frank Costa plays his final regular season game tonight, still with national title hopes on his mind. The receivers, this is an excellent group. Chris T. Jones, probably the best of that talented group of wide receivers. And at the offensive line, center Casey Jones gets the plaudits from his coaches for a job well done. Let's check the starters on defense for Boston College. On that defensive front, defensive end Mike Mamula. He has 12 sacks. And Frank Costa's going to have to keep a very close eye on him tonight. The linebackers that was talking about Boy just a minute ago, he plays in the middle, and he's getting a lot of attention from some of the pro scouts. They think he is very, very good. And in the secondary, strong safety Eric Shorter. He has four interceptions, three fumble recoveries, and he is the best all around of that group. 2,192 yards, 13 touchdowns, but 15 interceptions. You see Boston College shifting around. They will do this. They will stunt. They will stem all night long. They take the run. Pass is thrown complete. Daphnis, the tight end. Only one setback this time. Three wide receivers to the bottom of your screen. Running play. Stewart up the middle. Has five. Has ten. Breaks it out and has finally bumped out of bounds at the 24-yard line. They have a first down just inside the 24. DC going to be caught for offside. Tackle is made behind the line of scrimmage. Women and linebackers and defensive backs. In the flat, has it complete to German. Jamie German will take it inside the five-yard line. And Miami quickly back to the line of scrimmage. It is a first and goal from the five. Stewart. Hit at the line of scrimmage. It's going to go for no gain. And let's go to the sideline. Ryan Collins comes in quarterback. Larry Jones also comes in. Now they brought Ryan Collins in against Florida State. And they were using the rollout pass because he's a runner and a thrower at the quarterback position. Yep, that's what they were going to do defensively. Boston College stayed at home, and the ball is intercepted in the end zone. <laughs> Running play. This is Green. He'll take it for five yards. Oh, my goodness. In the lineups, David Green, who just carried the ball. He only needs 27 yards to reach 1,000 for the season. The receivers, tight end Pete Mitchell. He has 50 receptions. Every time he catches another pass, it's a BC record. This is a very good offensive line, and they're tough, as you can see right now. Pete Kendall, the best of that group up front. First and ten, Boston College. Here are the starters on defense for Miami. Defensive tackle, Warren Sapp, one of the four finalists for the Lombardi Award, which will be given out in Houston next week. Great group of linebackers, but 52, Ray Lewis. He's on a lot of people's All-American list. Folks, he's only a sophomore. And in the secondary, Carlos Jones at corner. They say he is the best cover guy in that secondary for the Kings. Green hit at the line of scrimmage and knocked down by Kennard Lang. So he may be a little sore come Sunday morning, huh? He can dish it out, too. That's uh... Hartzell looks for the screen, and this is Green. He'll take it almost to the 40-yard line. Hartzell just beyond Kenyatta Watson's hands. 
nine-man rush at the line of scrimmage, but the Hurricanes had the return on, and this is a low-line drive. Out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Had it going, going for the end zone. Collins came in at quarterback and threw the interception. Austin gets his pass away, overthrown, and again, it was Joel Bryan. He's a junior out of Panson, Massachusetts, who uh, pressured the quarterback on the last play. Pressure up the middle, and there's your middle linebacker, Stephen Boyd. Third down, and Miami needs the 29-yard line to keep this drive going. Costa going to be hit, and he sacked again, this time at the six-yard line. Giannakakis to handle the punt. He gets his kick away, and it's an end over end. Kenyatta Watson lets it bounce away and now Miami picking up valuable real estate here as it will go across midfield and go dead at the 45. That's away from the rest of his team. Trying to focus. This time they pull the guard but the running play will go absolutely nowhere as Corin Francis Hartzell rolls the pocket, sets the screen. Pete Mitchell, the tight end. Back over the middle and the 50-yard line and he'll take it to the 49. Hartzell in the pocket. Good protection. Now it breaks down. Lobs it deep. Got a man there. Pete Mitchell was tackled. And frankly, it was a smart play because it was going to go for six points. Mitchell in motion. And they go with the counter trade. Green to the right side. We'll take it inside the 30. This has been the trademark of this Hurricane team for many years, defense. Same play. Green up the right side. Ah, it only has the first down, but he'll pick up four more. Personal foul against the Hurricane. It's like a fist fight. You call somebody outside, you better be ready to fight. <laughs> and it looks like BC is ready to punch. Mitchell in motion. Here they come back with that counter again, and this time Warren Sapp is right there. It is a second down and 10. The ball resting at the Miami 11-yard line. Quarterback draw. Hartzell will take it for four. See what Dan Henning has come up with here with the third down. Hartzell set. Looking, looking, now drills it. That's Mitchell at the one. Touchdown, Boston College. holding at the 10-yard line. Low pass, gets it up, and the kick is good. So we'll take a break. Four minutes, 45 seconds left in this opening quarter. Boston College 7, Miami nothing. And Jamie German. This will be German from the four. Out to the 22. Well, let's see what the Canes come up with on this series. First time they had the ball. 18-yard pass play, a 31-yard running play. But on the last series, BC shut them down. Stewart breaks one tackle, takes it across the 25. That to Costa was as big a game, he said, as he's ever won in his life. Lobs it over the middle. Six complete at the 50-yard line, and let's check with Mike Tirico for the first time tonight. We all would have. Just shy of the 50-yard line. The pitch comes back to Stewart. Breaks off a tackle and picks up six, maybe seven. I think they would. They'd like to finish that game. <laughs> and in the backfield, nothing for Stewart this time. It's going to go for a loss. Third down for Miami. Now the line to make is the 40. Pressure from the outside. And he gets it away to Stewart, and he's going to be crushed for a loss again. With pressure as well. Clemens punt. This is Watson. And good coverage for the special teams. He seven to nothing. The Boston College Eagles lead. We have 128 to play. Opening quarter. Justice Smith, the running back. To the sideline. Did he catch it? Outstretched. They say no. It got all the right stuff. Hartzell, good protection again, and this pass incomplete. Now, there was contact before. 
Bentley with the punt. Good coverage kick. Very hot. German all the way back to the 29. Brown comes down at the line of scrimmage and we'll check that. Pretty good coaches to play under. Jack McNell and, and that group is pretty solid. Costas going to go up on top. And he's got single coverage. And the ball is knocked away at the last moment. That was Daryl Porter. And really a good good scheme if you can catch him in the right defense and not in too deep coverage. Costa with a draw play. This is Larry Jones. Crosses the 50. And finally a stop down at the 40-yard line. That going, is the end of the first quarter with our score. Boston College 7 and Miami nothing. And confidence seems to soar. Jones, the lone setback. They swing the pass out to Jonathan Harris, and he's going to take it down to the 30-yard line. Miami trying to get back in it. They're down 7-0. Short drop this time. Pump's going to go on top, going for the end zone, and it is overthrown. Mike Tirico, let's check back with you. Draw play. Jones. Keeps his feet is close to 10 yards in the play as he'll take it down to the 21 yard line. Pass wide open. Trent Jones, first and goal, Miami. comes to Larry Jones. Tries to turn it back up field and it's stubborn BC defense led by Stephen Boyd. This is the eighth play of the drive. Second and goal. Coming with a blitz in the corner. Pass has gotten away and it's overthrown and the blitz pays for Boston College on a third down and goal from the 10. Going to come with a blitz again. Costa over the middle, just tipped at the last moment. Terrence Wiggins, Dane Bush. You can see his numbers: 10 of 11. This one, an attempt from 27 yards. And he's got it. So let's take a break. 12 minutes 40 seconds until the halftime. Boston Cottage seven, Miami three. Watson and Ransom back deep for Boston College. And this will be Watson from the 10. Here comes a flag from across the way. Push in the back against Boston College. Green, maybe a yard. Kenny Holmes. Underthrown. He knows if he's being doubled, somebody's going to come free. Three of seven, 22 yards and a touchdown. That's the Pete Mitchell. This time they roll it back into the boundary. Hartsville's throw is caught at the 31 yard line. Good for the first down. That was a 16 yard pickup by the Eagles. Green on the sweep. Blocker in front. Gets his shoulder squared away, and he'll pick up about three. Running play, Justice Smith tries to wedge himself in behind one of those big linemen. Eight, and now they're headed for a bowl game. His first two losses were at Michigan and against Virginia Tech. Pass is caught here, but he didn't get the first down, I don't believe. Did they come after it. Return again. Out of bounds kind of came over the top of that one like a fake to Stewart. Stewart gonna be shot third time tonight that they have gotten to him Chris Sullivan you're right that's a good point they hit a good night to come down here flags go down and the running play is going to be stopped for no gain Boston College has uh, really had a good scheme to try to keep him out of their hair tonight 
The big jersey has a 66 on it. <laughs> Costa with a short drop and out in the flat has it complete and let's see did he get the first down Christy Jones Jones missed it by about three quarters of a yard James Stewart and as you can imagine they give it to the big running back breaks off a tackle they might have stopped him for a no first down pickup and he muscles his way that's what they can do for you shorter pumped it gonna go up on top and he's got a man open and he overthrows it Oh my goodness. Costa under pressure. Overthrows it. Danielle Ferguson, number one, has checked into the lineup at tailback. Costa drills the pass, almost intercepted after it went through Marcus Wimberly's finger. On it to punt for Miami. This is his best one. Wow, that's a good one. Got a turnover. Watson is hit just as he catches the ball at the 14-yard line. Hartzell sets in the pocket. Boy, does a good job of running for his life and then throws it complete at the 25-yard line. Right for those who might have thought that Hartzell was not real quick on his feet, he showed otherwise on that play. Justice Smith, and there's not much in the middle. Corwin Francis, number 58. His backup, Dwayne Johnson, out for the game because of back spasms. He's been plagued by them all season long. And to make matters worse for Miami, they're very thin at defensive tackle. So Dwayne Johnson, the senior out of Bethlehem, out for the remainder of the ball game for the Hurricane. Running play, Justice Smith, only a couple of yards. Ray Lewis, the... and he overthrows it. Kenyatta Watson is who he wanted. Good coverage kick. Very, very high. And German signals for the fair catch and makes it. Warren Sapp should win a few. Yep. Next week, one of the first ones, the Lombardi Award down in Houston, Texas. He's one of the four finalists. Ball is thrown and it's complete. Did he catch it? Yep, they say he did. That's who they go to in the short yardage play and be able to have the first down. The night's early and Mike Mamula has made some things happen with his pass rush. What a catch. Jonathan Harris. Second down and short. Running play. Stewart cannot bounce off this stop and O'Brien again. Third down about a yard and a half. Thank your pardon. It's Ferguson who is in there. Ball is thrown. Has it complete at the 42-yard line to Marcus Wimberly. Ferguson gets the handoff. Got to be hit at the line of scrimmage. Pressure from the outside. Puts it up on top, and it's going to be knocked away by Daryl Porter. And the most dangerous is Boston College defense. As far as an explosion waiting to happen is what Mike said. Ball is over the middle, tipped and knocked away, incomplete Michael Reed. Michael getting the football because not enough time for Frank Costa to look around. Ball is going to take a Miami. Nope, goes into the end zone. Look for a moment. I think they would just kill the clock here, Ron. Be very happy with a 7-3 lead. They go to the draw play, and Green will take it for five yards straight ahead. And the reason for that, BC has kind of taken the crowd out of the game. Here's the screen pass, almost intercepted. <laughs> and Miami still has three timeouts left, so now it uh, becomes a point to make the first down. Draw play, and it's only going to go for a couple. Warren Sapp, guy for Miami. And they're coming after him this time, so a line drive kick. Flag is down at the line of scrimmage. And German, here comes another flag from the other direction. And line. Illegal formation against the kicking team. Not enough men on the line of scrimmage. That penalty is refused. A block in the back by the receiving team. That penalty will be enforced first down. I, I, either somebody misinterpreted, but that's certainly not the way they would want it, I don't believe. Costa is going to be hit, and he is sacked behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that's the end of the first half with our score. Boston College 7 and Miami 3. Now let's check with Mike Tirico for the GMAC halftime report. Mike. Warren 
Sapp on the near sideline, trying to get his defensive charges going. Watson, one yard deep. Gets it up the near sideline, trying to get his teammates fired up to open this third quarter. Green, straight ahead with his surge, and he'll have a couple of yards. a little running room but not a great deal third down the line to make is the 34 yard line Hartzell gets it away incomplete one two three and out for BC off the side of his foot German waiting for it gets a good bounce and he'll try to return it Whoa. Get whacked at the 30. Fastest pass is caught by Christy Jones. It's a tough uh, when you're going to run three man routes against heavy coverage. It's tough also. Fastest ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage, almost intercepted, and it was Mike Mamula. It hasn't been called yet either. <laughs> Where's he going to go with this one? Threw it out of bounds. Like a one in New York. Costa has a man wide open. Good for the first down at the 40-yard line, Chris T. Jones. First and 10, the line of scrimmage at the BC 40. Here comes the blitz. They swing the pass out, Jonathan Harris. And Harris finally dragged out of bounds. Both in red pens, too. German makes the catch and it played in November for Miami. They swing it out, Jonathan Harris again. Boy, that is a tough isolation. That's what they're going to do, and he's going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage, and the first running play goes for a three-yard loss. Going to take it to the three-and-a-half-yard line to pick up the first down. Quick pass. Right over the middle and hit immediately by Daryl Porter is Yatiel Green. The bottom of your screen is Shipman. Defensively, they creep up on the outside. Blitz comes, pass right over the middle, has it complete. A.C. Tellison, he is 11 of 12. He hit one back in the first half. High pass from center, gets it away anyway, and he nails it. Let's take a break. Great job by Mike Chrissy to bring down the high pass and get it down. This will be Watson from the five. Watson breaks it open across the 30 to the 34. Still on top by one. to play third quarter throwback Pete Mitchell looks for a block he gets it he has the first down it takes it out to the 49 Justice Smith comes in replacing David Green at running back he gets the draw straight ahead boy you can see the safety come up and really plaster him but DC keeps the football Screen ball is tipped, it's intercepted. Kennard Lang. Warren Sapp, you expect the great players to eventually make the big play. And Takes it to Stewart. Pressure, he's going to be sacked at the 46. That's five times. Got a free play. Big opening all the way down for the first down at the 35-yard line. They go with the running play. Ferguson breaks it open big at the 20-yard line. On first down, Ferguson and in the middle of that line this time. J. 
Dan Stewart. Breaks one, breaks two, down to the 11 yard line. Stewart has the first down for Miami. It will be first and goal. As that goal post shadow is getting a little closer to it. Quick out pass. Trent Jones, touchdown Miami. Talking the talk and walking the walk. Well, he he does both extremely well. He got his team fired up and then he made the big play. Looks like a quarterback draw, and he is going to be held short about a half yard. Michael Reed is down at the bottom of that pile. And on the road, we had that one on the Thursday night. Then they won up Syracuse and were beaten by one point last week by West Virginia. This is Watson. He's got a big opening here. 30 to the 40 and all the way out to the 43 yard line and one of a thrown and intercepted by Miami Chad Wilson that pass just got away from him normally is most most disastrous blitz right up the middle Costa is going to be hit he lost the football and they say he was down that is six sacks two sacks and a block pass you talk about a payback, I'll say. <laughs> well, he got the sack just now. Danielle Ferguson comes to the sideline and is finally going to be caught and pushed out of bounds. Third down and 10. Line to make is the 40. Costa's pass overthrown. And a flag is down at the line of scrimmage. Procedure call. Coordinator. That's for sure. Pressure against the punter. Kenyatta Wilson is the deep man. And has to run away from it, and the ball is going to go out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Might be interesting, but uh, uh, I'm so happy here, so happy with the players and the program. I, I can see myself being here until I... Second down and 11. Once a throwback screen, not there, so he goes up on top, and it is caught and dropped. Oh, my goodness, Kenyatta Watson... Lops it, just overthrown. Clarence Cannon. Good kick. Very good kick. German all the way to the 38-yard line. Breaks one, breaks his second, and then good coverage at the 40-yard line. Personal foul after a 51-yard punt. 130 to play, third period. Stewart back in the ball game. He gets the pitch, turns the court, has five, eight, and nine. Let's see where they spotted on that uh, pass attempt and breakup of the last series. Stewart to the right side, puts the head down. He'll have the first down. BC offense only 23 yards in this third quarter. Costas pass, overthrown, incomplete. Could be the last play of the third quarter. Ferguson. And Danielle will take it inside the 30 to the 29. And that is the end of the third quarter. With our score, Miami 12, Boston College 7. Instead, they go straight ahead with Ferguson, and he is close to the first down. But same. Line to make the 24. Excuse me. Excuse me. I was going to say, same formation with Trent Jones out there again to throw in the football. But they go with the running play. Ferguson hit in the middle of the line. He's not going to have it. The Boston College defense stands up. You have to believe that the cry from that defense is, hey, offense, keep the football for a while and get us some points. Justice Smith. Footing, he'll have the first down. Mike Tirico, let's check with you. Our score, Hurricanes 12, Boston College 7. Just over 13 minutes to play. Justice Smith straight ahead. He'll take it for a couple. Pete 
Mitchell. See if they put him back in the offense here. He's open, but they're going to go longer. And the ball is in and out of the hands of Bryce. Everything becomes big here in the fourth quarter. Yep, you don't want a five play and out situation. Put the defense right back out there. Archel deep over the middle. He's got it complete. That's Watson and a first down. David Green comes back in at running back. Archel under pressure, and he's going to be set. And now here comes in a late flag. Emotional leader of this Miami team. Face mask against Miami. We've run out of asterisks, so we can't keep putting them on these things. <laughs> Green, nothing there. Going to be hit and knocked down. He'll fight forward for one yard. Second down. They fake the reverse. Now here comes the flag, and Hartzell's going to run it. And loses the football. Miami recovers it. Oh, I don't believe it. Corwin Francis. What a gift. Came right out of his arms and into Corwin Francis. They've lost a fumble and also two interceptions. 12-7, Miami leads it. Pass back to the short side of the field. Chris T. Jones has it. Out of bounds at the 39. And of course, that fumble just a moment ago. Three in this in this stanza. Larry Jones in the ball game. Breaks it out, and he will have the first down. And Mike Tirico, a moment ago, got a huge break and the face mask penalty, and then they turn it over on the next play. You can see the blitz. Miami picks it up. Pass complete over the middle. Chris T. Jones, touchdown, Miami. Collins comes in at quarterback and they will go for two. You don't do this till it works. The last time they tried a quarterback draw. And he's going to run it again. And this time he's going to walk in. So as we go to break, one more look at the two point conversion. Miami 20, Boston College 7. setback for Boston College. Pass over the middle. Bryce makes the catch. And boy, quite a blow delivered on him. Draw play to Green. Puts his shoulder down. He will have three, maybe four yards. But in the second half, Miami has taken the momentum and they've gone with it. Running play will pick up the first down by David Green. He is standing down next to Greg uh, McMacken, the defensive coordinator. <laughs> Offside. Archer lobs it over the middle. And just as soon as Green makes the catch. <laughs> Mitchell comes in motion. Hartzell goes up on top. Looking deep, and it's overthrown. Second down and 10. Zings it. Has it complete to Cannon. Across midfield. to On first down. Quick count. Hartzell over the middle. Has it complete at the 41-yard line. Justice Smith. going to run and he will have the first down at the 35 and eight unanswered here in the fourth Miami had too many players on the field and they've just been flagged for it pass is thrown incomplete legal substitution of with what appears to be their most the most serious threat since back in the first quarter Procedure. First down and 10. Line of scrimmage to the 35. 
middle screen. Cannon hit immediately, and Cannon's going to lose a yard. For the game, he's vomiting and before Temple, and Warren Sapp took him under his wing, settled him down. Hartzell is going to be sacked by Warren Sapp. It'll be third down. BC needs the 25-yard line. Hartzell going to be hit from behind and sacked by Kenny Holmes this time. Fourth down. Deep over the middle. Intercepted. That's Carlos Jones. They watched three films at least of Boston College before they came into this football game. They know what kind of player he is. Jones spins off a couple of tackles, then it's going to be stopped at the 40. Goes up on top. Christy Jones, he dropped the football. It was a sure six. Good heavens. His pass complete at the 29. Jonathan Harris. On first down, they go with the running play. Jones tries to slide outside, but he's going to be knocked down for no gain. That's two. second down. They did lose a couple, but the clock is running. And under three minutes now. Costas pass caught at the 17-yard line. This is A.C. Tellison. And the clock running again now at uh, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Counter play with Jones. Hit at the line of scrimmage and not going to be close to the first down. 32-yard attempt. Good pass, and he's got it. Now, Lou, that's not a bad prize. I'll tell you what, if you play them, you better come with your, with your chin straps put on tight. Toll free on the return, and he is going to be knocked down at the 11-yard line. <laughs> well, that, that could be a whole new thing, a whole new segment. Beaming up Bino. Mitchell. Pete Mitchell still on his feet, breaking tackles along the way. Clock running with a minute and 30 seconds to play. Pass is caught by Watson. No, check it. That's Steve Everson, number one. Rather than number four, and he gets out of bounds. Complete to the 42, Pete Mitchell. There's 60 seconds here to play in our regular season. This is going to bring down the curtain on CFA primetime this year. Jay Rothman, our producer, an outstanding job this season. We appreciate what he has done. Chip Dean, also uh, John Lawrence, Brian Holder, our tech director, and Jonathan Freed on audio. He is the man that uh, we sound good each week, which... Uh, Joe Vanderford. Peter Dingle. To me, too. I think Ray Stadel, Steve Fisher. I think everybody in the stadium we got. Well, we haven't gotten Freddie here. That's all right. Freddie Kiger. Freddie Kiger. Guys, we do appreciate it. This is a heck of a crew. It's virtually the same one each year and uh, close to Swing pass caught out in the flat, and this could be the last play of this football game. Their first touchdown until 4.02 left in the third quarter. But when it happened, it happened quickly. And they battle these Miami Hurricanes tonight. Just finally too much in the end zone. Caught for the touchdown, Clarence Cannon. And they say, no, he caught it out of bounds. Our final score, Miami 23, Boston College 7. That's it from the Orange Bowl in Miami. And now let's join the residents in scoreboard.